Bro, I got something for you. Huh? Mexican hands. Checkalo. Taco tip number 85. The ability to flip a tortilla without burning yourself. I'm Jared Neath. I'm Mando Rayo. And we're taco journalists exploring the most iconic tacos of Texas through the eyes of the people who make them. We're in San Antonio, Texas, where you wake up to warm breakfast tacos, barbacoa and big red, and you root for the Spurs. But today we're exploring the most iconic yeah. taco of San Antonio. The puffy taco. Let's go. This is the original puffy taco place, right? Yes but they used to be called crispy tacos. My husband thought of the name because he said it's what the taco does, it puffs out. So he named it Puffy Taco. And what is a Puffy Taco? A Puffy Taco is a taco, but we make the shell from scratch. It's made out of corn masa. And do you see that you also have like some longtime employees here? Oh God, yes. So and that's why the food stays the same because it's the same cooks. And it still tastes the same. Mm -hmm. That's what they always say. Some move away, and then when they come back again, that's what they say. Oh, I remember this. It still tastes like I remember. Yeah. Well, we've eaten five times. This is <laughs> <laughs> ready for course number six. Really? Yeah, we're gonna be. Uh, you know, the, you are what you eat, and uh, I think puffy is the right word. Puffy. <laughs> puffy's good. Puffy's In its good. truest form, puro means to keep it real, to be legit, to be authentic. You know, puro is. Raise, you know, eating puffy tacos in the heart of the west side of San Antonio and very poor area, but keeping it real to family traditions and meals and things like that. And, you know, I've been coming here probably since I was old enough to eat puffy tacos, which in, in Mexican, that's like, what, six months old? <laughs> <laughs> and there's just a lot of history and culture here at Rays. So it is a true puro San Antonio gem. There are so many great Families that have been here for decades, hundreds of years, like the families here at Ray's, that really celebrate our culture around food, around tacos, around that being the center of the table and we share our meals together. <laughs> Let's go to Mi Tierras in San Antonio's Market District because you can't have a puffy taco without talking about the significance of the masa and the tortilla. My father, Don Pedro Cortez, founded the first restaurant in 1941. And when he saw this space, he said, son, I want a Mexican restaurant that our people can be proud of their culture. Well, Mi Tierra, I think, reflects the biculturalness of San Antonio by having a strong emphasis on corn tortillas and on flour tortillas, because that is very bicultural. The corn tortillas, of course, going back 3,000 years in our history. And what about flour tortilla that I can just like, you know, it's like a nice warm blanket, you know, you can just like, yeah. <laughs> well, that comes much, much later, much, much later when wheat flour comes in from Europe and the Spaniards bring that over. Well, all roads lead to San Antonio, no? <laughs> Hey y'all, we're here at Henry's Puffy Tacos, where Puffy Tacos has been a family tradition for three generations. My parents opened up the restaurant uh, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, 1978. I would uh, get out of school, take the bus, straight to work, six days a week. Mm. Well, I worked at my father's restaurant you know, at a young age when I was uh, 16 years old. And throughout the years, you know, we've grown up and our kids have worked with us too. So every, you know, you'll, every day you'll see a family member at our restaurant. What's the difference between a, what most people would consider a crispy taco and, a, and what you call a puffy taco? A crispy taco is your store-bought uh, corn tortilla. So pre-cooked. Pre yeah, pre-cooked and fried, uh, made into a taco shell. Mm -hmm. Ours is handmade, in-house, starting with the masa. So the corn. Uh, yeah, roll the dough balls by hand. 
smash them by hand, each one individually. Throw it in the fryer, it'll puff up, and, and then we form it. And you so. do it by hand, right? You, you form do it by, by hand, hand individually, sing, each one single. So there's not a puffy taco maker back there? No. Like a button? Right. No. <laughs> yeah. there's, not, there's, not like, there's, not there's only like, one way to make a puffy taco, and it's the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way. There's, there, there, there's no other secrets. I mean, it's just doing it this way. No. Yeah. I'm pretty sure mine's better. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Didn't <laughs> even fall apart. Puffy, <laughs> not puffy. <laughs> it's great just to see the generations of families coming through our restaurant. So it's just been, been a great experience for us knowing that we're part of San Antonio and just growing up with our community. We take a lot of pride in our puffy tacos. It, it is a staple in, in, in San Antonio. I mean, right. if you're going to visit San Antonio, you've got to try a puffy taco. That's a wrap on San Antonio, y'all. We just ate a whole lot of tacos. And they were puffy. Personally, I love digging deep into those stories and getting my hands into that masa and making my first puffy taco. And whether it was Mi Tieta or Henry's or Ray's, I love hearing from the generations of taco makers doing what they do best and just keeping it really real here in San Antonio. So next time you're in San Antonio, remember, eat puffy tacos and keep it puro. Because the tacos taste better when you know the story. All right, Jared, here's some San Antonio street knowledge. Orale. Orale. That means I. I. Híjole. Híjole. No way. No way. Check it out. Checkalo. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. In the next Proximo show, we'll visit Corpus Christi, where they do anything for Salinas. And breakfast tacos. We'll talk to a group of creatives and see how they are standing up for their culture through their art. I want my culture to go from generation to generation. And we'll see the biggest, baddest breakfast taco in Texas.